It's the original floor which stood in the heart of Staples Center, the place Robert Ory became a true Laker, and it's where he became a L.A. legend. Ball tipped out to Ory, a straight on three. Good! The Lakers have won! Robert Ory's greatest hits tour continues. A critical piece of a Lakers three-peat, breaking in a new arena, which opened at the start of the 99-2000 season, of course ending in Kobe and Shaq's first championship. The Lakers are champions again. It, it, it felt great to be a part of every situation, not just the ones that involved me. And then we move into a new building, the Staples Center, and to be able to bring a championship that first year in the new building, it meant a lot. Those memories made Staples Center what it is. But now, after 22 years, the house that Kobe built will be called Crypto.com Arena. But for Ori, it will always be Staples. Because that's where I won three championships. That's where we brought a championship back to the L.A. in a new building, you know, the Shaq and Kobe era. Outside of the iconic arena sits the statue of Magic Johnson, one of many Laker greats saying goodbye to Staples Center this week. Promoting Oxfit Fitness System. He knows the name change may be hard for fans, but says the building will still shine bright in the basketball world. This is still going to be one of the greatest places to play. Los Angeles is always where all the NBA teams want to come and play the Lakers, and that's what it's all about. And as a Lakers icon in his own right, Ori says there's only one way fans will ever accept the name Crypto.com Arena. And they need to bring a championship to, for I think, for the fans who say, hey, okay, this is Crypto.com. Today, he covers this generation of Lakers as a Spectrum Sportsnet analyst. He can be more aggressive than attack the basket. But Robert Ori will forever be remembered for what he did on the court and starting the legacy of Staples Center.